one of the more popular effects that you see these days in photography, at least in creative photography, is um, the double exposure effect. And that one's actually really, really easy to create using blending modes if you know how they, how they work. So we have this uh, model here. He's in a white background. That's very important. And if we want to apply that double exposure effect to him using um, this second layer, then we can simply use one blending mode and we get a really convincing effect. With that city layer, I can change the blending mode to lighter color. And right away, we get a pretty convincing effect. And we're going to work on it a little more in a few moments. But I just want to show you what happened here. If you recall, the lighter color keeps the lightest pixel of the two. So since the background is white, nothing is brighter than white. So the background is kept. And then you get this double exposure effect on his face, depending on which pixel is brighter or darker. And then we can use the layer here, this layer, to position the effect anywhere we want. And you can, of course, transform it by pressing Control T, Command T on the Mac. Notice that, uh, here's a little trick for you. Right now, I press Control T, Command T to transform. And I can't really see the handles. I do see the pivot point, the reference point here. But I really can't see the handle. So um, of course, one way of bringing the handles out will be to click and drag until I see the handles to transform it. But a faster way is by pressing Control-0 if you're on a Mac, that's Command-0. And that zooms out. So if you ever press Control-T, Command-T to transform and you can't see the handles, press Control-0, and it zooms out so that you can see the handles. Now that I see the handles, I can continue um, transforming the selection, or excuse me, the layer, so that it matches the composition of the image better. Earlier, I showed you how I could use adjustment layers to um, change how the blend works. And I can do the same thing here. I can create a black and white adjustment layer. So now we have a black and white photo. I'm going to clip it to the layer below. So notice how now the city only has black and white pixels. So I took away the color from that. So that could be an effect that you may want to apply. Also, I can do the same thing for our model. I can apply a black and white adjustment layer. Um, instead of clicking on this button, I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut. It's Control-Alt-G, Command-Option-G on the Mac. And it turns it into a clipping mask. So now this black and white adjustment layer is only affecting the model. One of the reasons that I like using that particular adjustment layer for the double exposure effect is that it gives me access to the black and white um, sliders here in the properties panel. What this allows you to do is control the luminosity of the original colors. So I think he was wearing a blue jacket. Um, yeah, he was wearing a blue jacket. So I can adjust how that jacket blends um, by clicking and dragging on these sliders. So again, we're using luminosity to adjust how the pixels blend and how dark and bright they are. I can also do the same thing for the city. And you see how I'm changing how it's blending. That's because that area was originally this orange reddish color. So I'm making things darker and brighter. And you can see how the blend changes. And you can control all of that just through that adjustment layer.